guys, today's video is going to be a fall clothing haul and I got a few makeup things that I'm going to show you guys, but I just wanted to start off by saying this is more of like a fall California haul. Last year I ended up buying a ton of fall pieces that I never even got the chance to wear because the climate has changed so much in California. We realistically don't get a fall, just being like honest with you guys, it's pretty much hot all of the time now, like it's in the hundreds right now, which is like unbearable heat. So instead of like buying cute cozy sweaters that I probably won't even get to wear, I decided to stick to like the essentials and basics and only get like a few thinner sweaters. So I'm in no way complaining or bragging about the situation. I just felt like I should say that because you guys are gonna see some shorts in this haul and most people would be like, why are you buying shorts for fall? Just throwing it out there. We still have 100 degree weather right now and it's like super hot so you couldn't even go outside in pants if you wanted to because you would just bake. So I'm just going to jump right into the haul now that I'm done with that little rambling. From Forever 21, I did get a sweater, but it's like not really gonna keep you warm. It's like crochet knit. I just really like the color burgundy. And I can almost wear this like as a tunic, which I thought would be cool. So if you just put some stuff under it, like a shirt and a skirt, it would work. And I really thought that that would be nice and it wouldn't keep me super warm. I then also got a bag from Forever 21 and I honestly don't remember the last time I purchased a bag, but I fell in love with this one and it looked like such great quality that I was like, okay, I'm gonna get this because Forever 21 has really stepped it up. As far as the purses go, it has black hardware and I just thought it looked super expensive, so I decided to pick that up. From Brandy Melville, I got a few things, including the shirt that I'm wearing. I really like it, it's like a baseball style tee. I also got just this like kind of lightweight Long sleeve sweater, it's not like super warm and it will do the job just fine. I got a pair of these shorts, I love them and I love this new like hunter green color that Brandy came out with for this season so I decided to pick those up. And then the last thing that I got is just a sweater but again, it's a very very thin sweater, doesn't really do much but if you live in somewhere where it's super cold you can easily like layer this and I would definitely recommend it because they are super soft. Moving on to the makeup that I just want to show you really quickly. I stopped by MAC. I haven't bought makeup in so long. It felt so weird and now I'm kind of like in the mood to like buy a ton of makeup even though I don't wear makeup that much. So you guys will probably be seeing a makeup haul soon but I just got three things from MAC. I never even knew that this came out. Like, I literally live under a rock when it comes to makeup. So this is the Viva Glam Rihanna 2. And it has a really pretty packaging. It's like burgundy and black. And the color is pretty crazy. It's like a metallic brown color. I love it. It looks really good on my skin tone. It's very different. I posted a picture wearing it on my Instagram that I will show you guys right here and yeah I just really really like the way it looks and I'm not really a lipstick person so that says a lot and then I had purchased the infamous Kylie Jenner lip color and it didn't work out for my skin tone so I decided to get this and this is just a lip liner in the color Burr it's basically if you have my skin tone it's the closest to the Kylie Jenner lip that you're going to be able to get and last but not least I picked up a mineralized skin finish in the color Global Glow and it's really really pretty I love it I've already been using it a ton but it's just like a really pretty highlight and they changed the packaging and I'm really digging the new packaging so far. Next up I got this Jula Plie wand and I will insert a clip of what it looks like and how you use it as I talk about it but it basically says that it's a revolutionary nail polishing tool and it honestly is if you're like me and you suck at painting your nails I usually just try not to paint my nails and go get them done but I had gel nails all summer long and not only did it get like kind of expensive but they ruined my nails so I decided that I should probably go back to painting my own nails and a lot of people talked about this and said it worked really well so I decided to give it a try and as you can tell today my nail polish doesn't look like a two-year-old painting their nails so this is working out for me pretty well and yeah I really really like it it makes it like a lot easier to paint your nails especially when you're using like the opposite hand of like what you write with because that's where my problem comes in I always have like one hand that looks super good and then the other one looks bad but as you can see they both look good and if you buy this from Julep I know that there's I'll put a link down below you can get two free Julep nail polishes if you use the link down below but you can also purchase this at Sephora and I would really recommend it if you have a hard time painting your nails because it works wonders Last but not least, I got some things from the LF sale, and a lot of you asked what LF was when I mentioned that I was going to be doing this haul in my last video. Um, it's basically like a 
high-end boutique and they have it in a couple states but everything is really pricey so I always wait till the sales at the end of the season because you get a much better deal for example this shirt that I got is retails for $132 and it's just like a white crochet top pretty simple but at the sale it's only $10 so realistically I paid the price of everything that I'm going to show you of like this one shirt so if I were to buy this one shirt it would be like a hundred and something dollars and that's how much I paid for everything that I'm going to show you so yeah everything that I bought nothing was over $25 just so you can get an idea of how cheap the sale is so yeah this is the first thing that I got it's really cute I thought it would be great for layering in the fall the next thing I will insert a picture right now because I already wore this and it's just a really pretty floral romper the next one that I got is another romper, so it's just like kind of crazy bright and bold, but I figured that if I go on any type of vacation that I could wear this, and again, it was super cheap. The next thing that I got was gorgeous, and I like instantly fell in love with it, and it's just this lace kimono, but the sleeves have this really gorgeous fringe on them. I just thought that this would be really pretty, and you guys will definitely see this in my fall lookbook. I got a just like a really lightweight white sweater it's really long so it'll be really nice to pair with like shorts or something because I'll still be wearing shorts in the fall and then the next thing that I got was just this really pretty white dress I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to wear it but it was so pretty I couldn't pass it up the sleeves are just lace and it just really nice pretty white lace dress that I thought I should pick up the next thing that I got is this Clint Black shirt and I just thought it was super cool. I love country music and then the back has like that peace sign um, cut out in it. And then the next thing that I got is another country shirt. It's an Allen Jackson concert shirt and it just has this really cool fringe on it. I got this skort that is just like a floral print skort. I will show you the picture from my Instagram if you guys aren't following me on there. You should follow me on Instagram because I'll post a lot of pictures with these things styled pretty much for the most part. So I got this in black as well, but I already wore it, so it's in the dirty clothes. And then last but not least, I got three pairs of shorts, but another one of them is dirty, sorry. So I got these and they just button up the front and they have some distressing and like acid wash to them. And then I got a pair of Levi's that are just black and destroyed. So yeah, I went through that really fast because I got a lot of stuff. But yeah, I really love everything that I got. I hope you guys enjoy this video. My Twitter and Instagram will be linked down below. Also, don't forget to check out that Jula Plie one if you guys want to. I will have the link to that down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!